Hey what's up guys, what you are seeing on the screen right now is a Space Invaders like game that is made in Renpai. I initially made this Space Invaders game as a proof of concept for minigame ideas in a visual novel. I've noticed visual novels have minimal player interaction, so I thought adding minigames will hopefully enhance the visual novel experience. When prototyping this minigame idea, I kinda went overboard and made this Space Invaders game. Today I want to share with you the process of how I made this action like game with a game engine that was designed for creating visual novels. My journey of developing these mini games starts with learning the visual novel game engine, Rempi, which involves a lot of reading. After reading through the doc site, I found that Rempi is extremely friendly to use for people of different experience levels. In fact, a base game in Rempi does not require any programming knowledge at all. Unfortunately, you do need to know Python in order to develop these mini games. I know a lot of stuff can be avoided in RenPy by not knowing Python code, but this is not one of them. After searching a bit, I found this creator to find Displayable page, which is essentially the holy text for creating mini games in RenPy. The doc page is not too long. If you know how to read Python code, then the example code on the page will provide enough info to get started. In short, the render method is what renders your objects on the screen given a position. The event method is a listener for any player input such as mouse click or mouse move. I also want to point you to another resource that helped me create these mini games. This code is a simple Pong game made by Rempai Tom, the creator of Rempai. It provides a good understanding on how to create a more action oriented game within the game engine. You can find a link in the description below. My cursory analysis of these tools tells me it can do two things, render objects on the screen and handle player input. What this means is that certain game engine features such as collisions and gravity do not exist. As developers, we would have to implement them. In fact, in the Space Invader source code, which will be explained later, I had to implement collisions between the bullets and the ships. This is one of the shortcomings of Renpy, but to be honest, if we want to do a little more, we should just use a different game engine, like Unity or Unreal. With this knowledge, we can utilize these two simple features to create a minigame such as Space Invaders. The link to the source code is provided in the description, but essentially how I made this game can be divided into six concepts or classes. Game Displayables, Invader Manager, Wave Controller, Bullet Manager, Utils, and finally Space Invaders. To fully understand this, you would need to read the code, but I can try to explain at a high level of how it works. Game Displayable is encapsulation of objects rendered on the screen. This includes the invaders, the players, and the bullets fired from each respective party. The purpose is to keep track of the position of these objects and to handle the rendering. Game displayable classes are used frequently in other parts of the code. Invader Manager handles the position and the movement invaders on the screen. This is the most complicated part of the game as it must position invaders in specific rows and columns. It also handles invader movement. Bullet Manager manages bullets on the screen for both the player and the invaders. The purpose of this class is to handle the movement of the bullet and to check if the bullet is out of bound. Utils is a collection of two classes, Timer and Delta Time. Timer keeps track of whether a certain amount of time has elapsed. This is useful for situations such as creating a buffer period between waves. Delta Time is specific to the render, where we want to keep track of a normalized time so our game is not frame dependent. If you're not familiar with this concept, just google more about why delta time is important in games. Finally, we have the Space Invaders class, which inherits from Rempi.Displayable. This is the driver of the game and is where our render and event methods are defined. Here, we use the previous parts to construct the game and to handle all object initialization. We also handle player input in this class. There we go, that's the high level explanation of the code. I hope everyone was able to follow along and understand what I did. Anyhow, that was my brief experience with developing in RenPy. Before I end, I just want to say how brilliantly detailed the doc pages are for RenPy. I really appreciate good documentation and this is one of the reasons I was able to develop this mini game. I learned quite a bit and had fun making Space Invaders in RenPy. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.